Hey everybody, it's um, <clears> the <throat> James of uh, Rocketman Powers. Um, that's my new um, uh, sign there. My old one looked like this. Um, and um, the, anyway, I took a coll Asian calligraphy class yesterday to learn how to do some fancy lettering. Um, anyway, t today is on my guitar. Um, that's the Aria guitar right here, and um, I'll show you how that came out. I have videos to show you, so um, here they go pretty quick. Um, I have to turn my camera on here. I have, uh, I think it's three or four videos um, for like about 15 minutes almost, um, so i got to get started on this. Um, Yes, this is the first one right here. You got brave here. I'm getting brave. I'm brave. How about that? Me. Um, I'm working on my guitar. This is um, it's James of uh, uh, Rocket Man Powers, um, and I'm. Guitar here, squishing it in. I'm, I'm sort of doing it injection style, but just with my finger because I don't have any syringes and I'm not that fancy. Uh, in this. Looks like it's going in. I don't want it to go in too far because of the um, rod that's in there. Be clamping it in a minute. is um, white glue um, Staples brand that I've had a long time. Um, I've used the very bottle on the um, Homer ukulele, the coconut ukulele, and um, been happy with the results. But look, it's um, peeling off. It, it just kind of rolls off um, in a good way. Um, so anyway, here's my glue bottle. Maybe actually that one. See how it's kind of like peeling here? It rolls. So in a minute, I'm going to um, rubber band these. I have all these things. So. Use pens, ballpoint pens. Watched a lot of other people's videos, um, people doing this kind of stuff, so ho hopefully you're enjoying watching mine, learning something. You know, over time, whether this works or not, um, it'll give you sort of a demo of the guitar once I get the strings on and so forth. This is just one repair of many before I get it playing, though. i got some other things to do. I 
it's starting to feel smooth like it's like I'd want if I'm playing it. kind of around the corner there. No, it's all coming. It's all good. There's that again. Okay, I think I'm ready to clamp this up. Here, I'm getting brave. I'm okay. brave. All right, so that, that was the um, end of working on my guitar. This that one, I need to find the next one now. Here, um, right, hello, everybody. It's James again. Uh, this is looks like part two of my uh, uh, guitar repair job here. I, I have them all clamped up now. It's close enough. I think it's going to become happy with that. So here's my next project. Um, if you can see that the guitar is, um, there's like space in there. Um, shopping forever for this I finally decided that this was the one I had to kind of take a risk because I didn't take the guitar to the Home Depot and I just after looking at all their clamps and eyeballing it I just guessed that this was going to drop in here and work and it, uh, I don't have it open enough but it, I've, I tried this already and it works perfect I, I have a choice of doing it right on the corner here but I think I'm going to go to like right about here and not worry about the frets getting pushed down too much because it looks uniform and it squeezes it tight I'll, I'll just kind of um, work white glue in there just like I did the other one the same white glue will do that probably tomorrow night maybe um, we're going to let this all dry overnight um, or so um, and uh, so on. I got my this one out I'm about to put take these two strings uh, on this and see about um, uh, taking it to a friend's house to check it out to see if it's working. Maybe it's kind of a plan. I don't know if that plan's going to materialize. But anyway, hope you like this. Um, uh, thumbs up, if you will. And give a um, su subscribe. That probably helps me more than anything. I'm always kind of watching the numbers, and I think I'm up to 28. So thank you for uh, all you subscribers I'd like to see more so have a good one bye okay that's that video of change videos um I actually um Hello, I, I did the gluing of the um uh the thing that I said I was going to wait overnight I did it just immediately afterwards just minutes after I uh took the video there um showing you in our last video here just poured a bunch of glue right along this line here and now I'm just working it down letting gravity kind of take its course and then I'll clamp it with that clamp that I'm show, showing you
upside down. I don't know how this video is going to work out. Is it? I think I'm holding it upside down or something. It's not supposed to be upside down because of the way the lenses are. But anyway, this video will be probably on a different camera and you'll get to see kind of um, three videos in one or something. be just a big mess, I don't know. Looks like it's getting down in there at least a little bit. Not a lot. be going somewhere. It's not on top anymore. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the rod inside. get the idea. I think there will probably be one more video of me um, clamping it and kind of mopping glue up and so forth. Have a good one. Um, hope you like this. So long. Bye. Okay, so there's um, one more. Pardon the um, dumbness in there that might comment about it. The torque rod, the rod in there, because the rod isn't really there. Um, so this is, I think, the final one here. Not sure the orientation. Okay, everybody, uh, I got brave here. I'm getting brave. I'm oh, wait, wait, brave. wait. Okay. You've seen that one. Um, went the wrong way, I think. So, don't think you've seen this one. still kind of a little bit of glue I can feel right here, but, you know, who, who does anything there and so forth. Um, I, I really was, this is kind of a compromise to have it clamping down on the two frets rather than on the corner. If I clamp it on the corner, this rise raises up. If I clamp it here, it seems to kind of be more even. It's kind of based on a video I watched um, of James Taylor saying that he doesn't ever even play this part of the fretboard. Um, and um, maybe I will, I don't know, but um, 
um, that's how I talk myself into that, you know, because I'm uh, clamping down on the fretboards there, uh, on the uh, actual frets. Um, so anyway, this is how this came out. After my last video, I don't know if you catch this, but I switched these. Um, this purple one is sort of about the most generic, genetically uh, superior, um, and it was like over here um, or somewhere, and so I ended up putting it right in the middle, and then I doubled this one, and I took off that thin rubber band that I have here, because it was actually seeming to kind of hinder things, so it was kind of getting in the way and almost loosening things up, so uh, I, I took that one off, so anyway, um, I think this is the glue side. There's, there's actually looking like there's going to be a, a little gap, um, but at least it won't be wiggling around. You can kind of see it. It's, there's a little bit of a gap there. I, I could probably be playing with tape, and I was trying to bungee cord that I have, but um, I'm just going to leave it at that and see what happens. Huh? So anyway, um, here, here's this. These are new tuners. This one and this one are from... Stu Mac um, to replace ones that were missing more or less and so forth. So we're, anyway, I'm getting there. I've got a repair over here where I need to kind of glue it. Um, it's kind of cracking, and then I have to put in the um, this stuff. And I my buy sort of the wrong kind, and then I may use it anyway. So uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, there you have it, um, folks. Um, on on the videos, turn my camera off here. I can uh, find out the just a few minutes quiet ago. things down. Okay, so here's my guitar, and it is um. Here's the way it ended up. It's real, not real nice and smooth. I got all that glue off just by rolling it off, like you were seeing. And it didn't get on my frets or anything. This came here. I, I did kind of pack in some down in this area. I didn't see it on the video, but I kind of later added that, and before I took the clamp off and so on. Um, I got some in there too. I, I left the guitar sort of on its tail like this, on a pillow, and. I put some glue in, in that area, and I did this side too, actually, and clamped this side. There, it wasn't nearly as bad, but um, there, I forced in some glue on this side also too. I don't know if you can see the fillet, but there's a little bit of white glue fillet along that edge too. And so on. I, I put a little fillet like here and here and on, on the ends of, of white glue. I, my, my biggest regret is I think I probably would have been better off buying a bottle of Type On 2 and using Type On 2, which is water resistant. So now I'm going to have to be extra careful about, um, you know, being out in the rain and stuff like that or storage. I, I have a not a good case and I, I kind of cover it with a bag and so on. So anyway, I kind of regret that. If, if you do this, you might think about using Type On 2. The concern I had is that Type On 2 is a bit more viscous and I had the feeling that it, you know, it might not um, uh, shove down in there as far and, and spread as good um, and, and so on. So anyway, I, I'm happy with it. I think I'm going to kind of be forgetting about it just because it's fixed. And, you know, I'm going to be watching videos on kind of what, you know, needing to be done. I have kind of some, you could probably see some dings in the side that I might try to fill with CA glue or white glue or uh, something. I, I may actually get some Type On 2 and um, fill, fill it in. Anyway, um, more stay tuned on the project. Um, thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe and so on. Uh, so long.